Hi all, welcome to the video lecture series of object oriented programming. In this video lecture, we will be discussing about model view controller. Model view controller, or in short, we call it as MVC. It is the fundamental design behind each of the components that we use in Swing. Why we use MVC or why Swing uses MVC? It is because MVC can uh, breaks the GUI components that is the components that we use to design forms etc that is what we mean by GUI components GUI stands for graphical user interface MVC breaks these components into three elements and MVC is known as the well-known software architectural pattern which is ideal to implement user interfaces like the forms or the login pages etc by dividing an application into three interconnected parts. The main goal of MVC is to separate the internal representations of an application from the ways in which it is represented to the user. And as mentioned earlier, MVC has got three parts or three components. They are model, view and controller. Here model is the part that manages the data the logic and all the rules of the application. View is the part that represents how the data is represented to the user. And controller is the part or the component that accepts the in input from the user. And that input will be con conveyed either to model or the view. This figure clearly explains the interactions between the three components of MVC. As you can see in the picture, the user uses the controller to input the data. The data is manipulated by the model because that is our logic and all the rules of applications are written inside that component. And then model updates the view and that is what the user sees it. As mentioned just now, model receives data and comments from the controller. Based on the data and comments, model updates the view. It stores the data and updates the view. View represents the data it receives from the model to the user and the control is capable of accepting input from the users and converts it into commands to the model or the view. That is all about MVC. Now we will discuss about components and containers in Swing. First of all we will define a component and a container. What is a component? How can we define it? A component is an independent visual control such as our push button or radio button or say checkbox or text box etc. Whereas a container is also a component but it is capable of holding a group of components. Think of container as a tray that we use in our home. We use our tray to hold teacups, cup saucers etc. Likewise in programming in swing a container is also a component which is capable of holding other components. In Swing, all the components inherits a class named J component. This class is inside the sub package Swing, which is inside the main package JavaX. So all the Swings inherits or all Swing components inherits this class. First of all, we will see something about components. Swing components, as mentioned just now, they are derived from J component class. So we all know what's the need of a class. A class is like a blueprint. That means it provides some common properties or functionalities to all components in Swing. Similarly, J component class provides a functionality that is common to all Swing components. Common functionality in the sense, for example, pluggable look and feel. That is how each component must look like when we implement that in a page. How it must look like, how, must, how, much, uh, how it must appear when we use it. That is an example for this functionality provided by the J component class. Also, J component class inherits AWT classes container and component. AWT stands for Abstract Window Toolkit. It was first introduced before Swing. So, in AWT, there are two classes named Containers and Component. These classes are inherited by J component, which means all the components in Swing 
are built on the AWT classes and hence it is compatible with an AWT component also. All of the swing components are represented by classes defined within the package named javax.swing. So all the components that we have to use in a program which make use of the swing we have to import the package named javax.swing because all swing components are contained inside the package named swing which is inside the main package javax. This table shows the names of swing components. All these are classes. As you can see all class names begin with a letter capital J. J applet, J frame, J button, J viewpoint, J text box etc. So we have seen some programs in AWT in event handling. So difference between the class names in AWT and Swing. In short we can say that all the classes in Swing begins with a capital J. So far we discussed about components. Now we will see what is a container. In Swing there are two types of containers. The first type is known as top level containers and they are J frame, J applet, J window and J dialog. Why they are known as high level or top level because these containers do not inherit J component class. Instead of that they are inheriting the AWT classes component and container. Hence they are high weight or heavy weight. We know that uh, we have mentioned why swing components are mentioned as lightweight in the previous video. So I hope you know what do we mean by heavyweight and lightweight. So this top level containers are heavy weighted and the second type containers are light weighted. This makes the top level containers a special case in the swing component library because all other components in swing are inheriting J component class but the top level containers they inherits the AWT component and container class. This table shows some of the commonly used containers J panel, J frame and J window. J panel is the simplest container. As mentioned earlier we define container as something that is capable of holding other components. So panel is a component, it's a container which is capable of holding other components including a panel. That is if we have a panel we can include another panel within this panel or other components like button or text box or checkbox whatever it may be we can we can include that into this panel also but difference between j panel and j frame is j frame is a top level window and it will be having a title and a border the panel will not have it similarly j window is also a top level window but this j window will not have any borders and no menu bar etc so these three are the most commonly used containers in Swing. So containers are actually components itself but they are used to contain other components or hold other a group of components. We will see a simple example now as you can see here. We have imported the J frame class from swing package which is inside Java X. We have also imported the class named swing utilities. Okay. We have created a class that extends J frame. So extends is a keyword that we use for inheritance. So this class example is extending the class J frame. That means example is a child class of the parent class J frame. So child of a frame is a frame. So example is also a J frame right now. So we are writing the constructor. We are using set title method of class J frame to mention the frame of the title. Sorry, to set the title of the frame. Then we are setting the size of the frame. Size means the width and height of the frame. Then set location relative to. That is, if you want to locate the frame on the screen relative to some say 
a screen has got four borders right top bottom left and right if you want to place the frame with respect to any of these borders we can make use of this method but here it is mentioned as null so it will be by default where the frame will appear there itself it will be appearing then we have to mention set default close operation that is when we click on this close button what must happen we have to so by default we know that when we have a form we when we click on the close button the form will be closed but that is possible if we set the action like this set default close operation exit on close so here exit on close is actually constant inside the jframe class if you are mentioning this method and giving this constant value when we click on this close icon of the frame this frame will be closed and see all these lines are written inside the constructor of the class example that means whenever we create an object of this class all these lines of code are getting executed that means we are creating a new frame whenever we create an object of this class so we have the main method here and we are creating one frame named ex because example is a child of j frame child of j frame will be a frame itself so ex is the object of class example so ex is now a j frame when we call the constructor all these lines are getting executed we have discussed about set visible method when we discussed about even handling in the fourth module we have a method named set visible only if mentioned only if we use that method and if we only if we give the parameter as true then only the frame will be displayed so we have to set the visibility of the frame by mentioning it as true then the frame will be visible this is a simple example of displaying a frame by using swing package we have not added any buttons or text boxes to this frame this is only we shall conclude now i hope it is clear in this video lecture we discuss about model view controller what do we mean by that how it is used in swing we also discussed about some of the components and containers in swing that is all in this video lecture thank you so much